And uh, this is game number two between Loiza and Love Cheng in round four of Clash of the Titans. Um, down to the south of the map in blue, we have got RVK Loiza. He's playing as Aztecs. Up to the north in red, we've got CKF Love Cheng as Aztecs as well. Of course, the first round, first game even, did go to Love Cheng quite conclusively. Uh, Loiza really not looking so strong on the water maps there, but he has chosen arena as his home map and of course it will be an Aztecs war so something that he is going to be very comfortable with and something that he managed to beat Tim with so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this game goes. I do think we're going to see some pretty damn standard strategies of course right here a lot of relics in the center of the map pretty much equidistant between the two gates of both guys but I would say that Loiza has the advantage in terms of relics right here especially these two on the far left side they are very close to his gate and you know he could secure them very easily if he wanted to also the relic on the right side here very close to his gate once again and of course if he gathers up all five relics that does mean a huge gold income for him as of course the Aztecs do get a 33% relic gold boost which is pretty much massive when you have all five relics in your possession and knowing Loiza's play style seeing him play before we could pretty much guarantee that that's what he's gonna do uh, I'd also say as well that Loiza has much better gold in this situation of course this gold it's not ideal because it is next to the trees and you ideally you don't want your gold to ever be against a tree line like this uh, however he does have gold right in the back here as well as his two stone piles or sorry one stone pile his other stone pile being at the front here but I love chatting a much much worse position for him gold not only is it on the front but it's also so close to his wall and if Loiza did intend to do a castle drop dropping a castle here would pretty much well here even would pretty much put Love Cheng so out of it because this castle not only would it prevent Love Cheng from taking his only gold inside of his walls his secondary gold is also outside of his walls and it's uh it's kind of going to be covered by a castle if it goes here so a castle a forward castle from Loiza in the castle age could do huge damage and I know what Loiza is going to do he will make two maybe three barracks and go for eagle warriors to secure the center of the map now of course if he does do that, does manage to secure the center of the map, that's going to give him pretty much free reign to stick a castle up on this right hand side. Love Cheng also has gold out on the front on the left which I actually missed initially, but again easy to prevent him from taking if you have the map control in the center of the map. So it's looking really bad in terms of map for Loiza right here, uh, sorry Love Cheng right here. One boar is on the outside of his uh, wall here. He may have to delete a piece to even get that in because it's going to be pretty tough by the looks of things. And uh, Loiza, not only is this his home map, but uh, he's got a very nice map as well. So I do think that uh, he's going to be in for a really good game right here. And I think that Love Cheng is going to have a tough time, but we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, there is no way to really know. We've seen Aztec Wars a hundred, a thousand times before on Arena and, you know, we can pretty much call what's going to happen. I think it's really it's paying attention to the maps and looking at the minor kind of fine details that these players are sort of doing or using to take whatever advantage that they can. So, Love Cheng then, four, uh, four b uh, villagers on berries already second board just about to come in right now it is slightly early but then again you know he had to delete a wall piece here he's also deleted a wall piece at the back to lure these deer in and that is certainly a good good choice to make those deer are going to give him a really nice little food boost in terms of getting up to the feudal age Loisa though seemingly you know that first farm gonna go up straight away and luring this second boar in right now slightly later than love Cheng, but absolutely no wastage on time there at all complete efficiency as that second boar comes in just as the first boar goes down and uh really nice done nicely done from Loiza there being very efficient first farm as well is up and he is going to lure these deer in from behind looks like he's having a little bit of a tough time at the moment though and I would pretty much put that down to uh, the latency between these guys, the lag that they have to put up with. Going to make it a little bit more difficult to actually lure these deer in. I mean, they can be temperamental at times anyway. And it seems right now that Love Cheng's having a pretty tough time as well. And actually missing that first deer. And still with three more in here, 
He's going to go for a different kind of strategy. He's going to wall up this right side, say, you know, screw it, delete these walls, get rid of the bloody gates, and uh, get the deer in uh, that way. I mean, it's you, you can't really blame him for doing that. I mean, getting those deer in is going to be really, really useful to him, especially uh, when it comes to getting a faster castle time. So that's really important. One thing I've noticed as well, Lufcheng, where's his sheep? It looks like it looks like Lois has stolen his sheep or something. I don't know, but uh, he's only got one sheep left in here, and you know he's going to be in for such a tough time having to seed four farms already. And you know at the moment having to get these deer in before he runs out of food. There we go. He's got another sheep right there. So obviously you know you're going to seed four farms eventually. But if we compare this to what Lois has got, he's not even moved really onto the rest of his sheep just yet. He's going to be pretty happy to just take these sheep for now and slowly uh, put those farms up when he needs. Oh wow, that deer got wow what? How did that deer even get killed? I have no clue. Uh, I didn't even see a villager go down there. But that's a bit of a fail. Lure. And I think both these guys are having a pretty tough time luring their deer in, to be honest. Love Chang managing to get one right there as his fifth farm goes up. And I'm really interested to... I don't know why he seeded his farms here. Obviously, we all know that the farms are much more efficient on this side of the TC. And it's so important that you have as much efficiency as you possibly can. Of course, Aztecs do get their little farming bonus, their hidden farming bonus, which makes their villagers... About, I know, 11 to 15% more effective on farms. Plus the fact they have the extra gather, uh, extra resource that ca capacity, I suppose you could say. I can't get my words out. But um, it's I don't know why Love Chang would put his farms up here. It makes more sense to have them on this side. But whatever. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, I guess, at this stage. Maybe later on. But either way, both of them are up to feudal. Love Chang getting up a little bit sooner than Loiza here. Uh, but Loiza has got one less villager out, which could mean that he could do a faster castle age still. But interesting that he's got a slower... Oh, sorry. My bad. It's the other way around. Love Chang with less villagers, but a faster feudal time. Love Loiza with more villagers and a slower feudal time. Uh, but it's really the castle time that makes the big difference here. And it seems like uh, Love Chang's just getting those deer in right now. The last one needs to be lured. And Lois is still trying to lure as well. But as I said, with the latency, it's making it quite difficult. And <laughs> Lois is just going to say, yeah, screw that. I will leave that until later. Or oh, never at all. Never going to take that deer. Not going to happen. Uh, but he has got plenty of food right here. Does look like Love Chang's got a tiny advantage though. And you can see he's not taking any gold right now. So he will mark it, sell that stone for the gold. And then he will go up to feudal age, sorry, the castle age. It should be a pretty fast time. Once this deer gets dropped off, once the villagers on the berries and the farms get dropped off, he's going to be up to castle in a pretty reasonable time actually. We can see Loiza as well, going to be putting that market and the blacksmith. He has had these villagers gathering the gold though, so he's not going to get caught out by finding he's not got enough resources, or sorry, not got enough value to sell his stone at to get the 200 gold. So going to be absolutely fine, but I think Love Cheng may just be a little bit of an advantage here, and he is. He's up to castle already, villagers are going over to gold right now, and we'll probably see him put down a barracks in just a moment's time as well. So... Love Cheng then is surprisingly going up to Castle first, and considering he's got such a bad map, that is very crucial. Uh, obviously, we can see there Loiza about 5 10%, and Love Cheng on about 20 so he's going to get a little bit of a time advantage. But the question is will he be able to take the center map control? That's the crucial thing right here. Loiza has got a barracks going down on the front already, and uh, Love Cheng. No barracks going up just yet, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. There's a villager coming forwards right here, and I imagine she's going to be putting a barracks down on the front somewhere. And there it is. Question is now, how many barracks are we going to see? Loiza, likely to be two or three barracks. And Love Cheng, well, I've got no idea. I haven't really seen him play Arena that much, but seemingly putting that barracks down there and uh, probably going to put another one down as well does certainly know this mode and these sieves very well. Probably spent some time and analyzing Loiza's playstyle as well to see exactly what he's going to do. So let's see if uh, Loiza can pull this off. Obviously losing that first game. This one is going to be a little bit more close I believe but Loiza is certainly further behind in getting up to Castle uh, than Love Cheng. Having a quick look at Villagers on Goldie's got six. Love Cheng has uh, eight, nine right now. 
And that's pretty much a very strong indicator that monks will come into play. But the question is how quickly. Love Cheng going to put up a monastery straight away by the looks of things. Right in the center of the map right there. And he wants those relics. Loiza going to have scouted that, I think. Yep, he's going to know that's there. Maybe going to come in and try and harass these villagers a little bit. But Love Cheng not going to have any of that. Uh, starting to wall up a little bit. Nope, Loiza's going to do it. Getting in there. Going to be a bright pain for these villagers. But, of course, going to delay that monastery. That's really what he wants. Going to kill a villager as well. And Love Cheng, oh man, did not want to lose that villager right there. Not ideal. Second... Uh, Eagle Wire is out for Love Chang, but he only has one barracks right now. And this is concerning because Loiza is creating two Eagle Warriors at a time. The th oh, Monastery is going down and two, well, second Monastery go, sorry, first Monastery going down. He did put two, deleted it and then removed it. But um, Loiza here might be able to take the center, even though he was a little slower going up. Because he is creating... Uh, Eagles at a much faster pace, killing off these villagers as well. It's quite a big deal to pick these guys off. And it looks like Loiza here might just be able to do it. Love Cheng though, gonna have a monk out in just a moment's time. Another villager could go down for Love Cheng here, but Love Cheng gonna get a conversion potentially. Nope, not gonna happen. Loiza gonna deny that. There's a monk down for Love Cheng. And Loiza's gonna be in a nice position here, as Love Cheng has spent quite a bit of resource in. Uh, in that monk right there, and the the uh, eagle warriors that he's lost so far. So Loiza really going to have to try and get these eagles out if he wants to take the center area. Of course, more monks are going to be on the way. 80% on Loiza's monk right there, and one more is out for Love Chang. So it is going to be really, really close fight for the center here. Both of them healing their units up as well. But I think Loiza realizes that Love Cheng is only on the one barracks, which means he can outmass him in terms of eagles. Second monastery down for Love Cheng, though. And it looks like he's really going to get really heavy into that monk production. And we could probably have assumed that. I mean, if we have a look at how many gold collectors Loiza has here and how many Love Cheng has. Well, Love Cheng clearly taking a lot more gold, clearly going to be able to keep monk, monk production from two monasteries. But in comes Loiza right here, going to target those monks straight away, and he has to convert them quickly. Oh, sorry, kill them quickly, and he did do just that. But obviously, that run by does make it a little bit more difficult for him to fight this straight up. And it does look like Love Cheng did get a conversion or two, but Loiza going to be able to take the center of the map by the looks of things. Another couple of monks out for Love Cheng though, and if he gets another couple of conversions here, he could still turn it around. The question is, will he get the conversions in time? That one no, this one no, and Love Cheng has lost a lot of resources right here. And Loiza, now with two monks coming in, might just be able to uh, to pull this off, luring this uh, eagle in right there. Could get a conversion. It's gonna be close. Yeah, he got it. And Love Cheng now on the back foot as uh, Loiza is taking that's the center map control. He's killed a couple of villagers, killed plenty of eagle warriors, and he has got monks out on the field, which Love Cheng at this stage is struggling to keep production of. Third barracks going down for him as well, so he's really going to be trying to get the mass of eagles up that he needs, but it's not going to be easy. These eagles pack quite a punch, and uh, Loiza here. He could upgrade the attack on them as well, uh, just to make them a little bit more effective. Of course, defense, not going to be so crucial. He needs to just kill the monks as quickly as he can, ideally. Uh, but right now, more barracks going down for Love Chang. He's really getting serious, super serious, about getting the center back. But as we can see, Loiza starting to take these relics now, and he's going to be very careful to make sure that Love Cheng doesn't get them. Aiming for the monks once again. Will he get a conversion? It looks like he might actually quite slow on getting in there. One conversion is done, but Loiza again taking out those monks before they're able to really do the damage. And Loiza right now securing two relics straight away. More monks coming out, uh, but he still has to be very careful because Love Cheng now with four barracks can very easily start to outmass him in terms of numbers. And sure, Loiza has two relics in the bank, but there's still three more to go. And Love Cheng inside of his base right now, but somehow Loiza just always gets the conversions. It's kind of mad. Going to be able to separate these guys off very easily. Going to be able to kill them off quite quickly as well. And again, Loiza getting really good trades here. Very good trades indeed. 
Love Cheng though, down with the Siege Workshop on the front, still only on the one TC worth noting, and Loisa back home on the three right now. And that is a kind of a big deal. Uh, Love Cheng is really piling everything he's got into this. Really, really wants this center. And considering Loisa has three TCs right now, he's still doing really a really good job of um, taking the center map control. Third and fourth relics could be taken for Loisa right here. He's already got the one on the right hand side. Next one going to come in on the left. And if he gets the final relic, that is huge. Just going to actually check. This is on... Um, oh, never mind. I can't see it on there. I want to make sure that it's actually on Conquest. Because if it's not on Conquest, then uh, Loiza might get a victory notification if he gets the final relic. But this is a really big deal. Collecting all these relics in, going to give him so much gold. It's going to allow him to get up to the Imperial Age in a good time as well. Not to mention the fact that the Aztecs have a really good farming boost. Which is going to give their food a really, really good aim. Like boost uh, a good income of food and if we like, have a look at the populations it's 49 for love cheng 70 for loisa right now and he is clearly feeling very at home on this map looks like love cheng though may just get this relic right here and loisa probably going to be aware of that if he's watching the mini map to make sure that well to see that that is gone he knows that love cheng's picked it up if he spotted that that white dot has disappeared will he move in to intercept it will he do something to try and prevent love cheng from holding all these relics i don't know but there is a castle going down on the front for loisa right now perhaps we'll see some jaguar warriors coming out a little bit later on that would be really really cool because at the moment he's not creating any more military Though saying that, he might be forced into creating a little bit more military right now as uh, there is a ram coming in which is a little bit of a big deal for Loiza as he ha doesn't really have much defences back at home and he is slightly smaller in numbers um, of army size than Love Cheng is right now. Love Cheng though, staying really super aggressive, still only on the 1TC right now. I'm going to start trying to breach Loiza's walls. Loiza's castle will go up well in advance though. He's going to be very prepared for that. And Loiza right now, this is a golden opportunity, quite literally. Villagers gathering gold outside of Love Cheng's walls, completely undefended. And it looks like Loiza might just be heading over there. In which case, he's going to pick himself a good five, maybe six, well, five villagers for free right here. This is going to force a reaction from Love Cheng. Loiza has to spot this. This gold right here is going to be really huge for him, and he will do that indeed. There's going to be five dead villagers for uh, Love Cheng right now, undoubtedly, and really nice stuff from uh, from Loiza there. No reaction from Love Cheng at all as uh, as five of his villagers just get massacred. And for L Love Cheng, who's only on the one TC, that is a huge deal. Loiza right now is getting so far ahead and creating Jaguar Warriors as well. Of course, Jaguar Warriors, great against uh, other infantry, and they should make pretty short work of Eagles right here. Not to mention Loiza is continuing the production of Eagles as well. No upgrades at the moment though, which is interesting, but... Love Cheng right now not going to be able to get in here and Lois is going to be clicking up to Imperial in just a moment's time. Compare that to what Love Cheng's got, his economy, it's really bad at this stage of the game. He's still only on the 1TC, second TC is just going up but it's so late and he was really relying on that push and this ram and all of these monks to really push forwards and do some damage. But at this stage it's looking really unlikely that Love Cheng's going to be able to do the damage before Loiza hits him, he's already about 10, 20, well 20% 20 up to the Imperial Age and from there he's going to be in a brilliant position to push out. He has got four relics secured, a little bit of a breach of security over here though as Love Cheng's piling in to his base, leaving that gate open for more reinforcements by the looks of things but Loiza going to get in there. Love Cheng though with plus one attack, plus one defense, that is quite a good uh, upgrade for him. It's going to give him a little bit of an advantage in this fight, but it looks like Loiza with the numbers here, going to be able to keep uh, Love Cheng at bay. But Loiza right now starting to research that plus one attack, plus one defense is done as well. So he's going to be very even, very level pegging in just a moment's time and putting up some walls for defense. 
Love Cheng though, he did really try and, and do the pressure thing right there. He tried for that. He was really hoping that he'd be able to get some damage and he did take out quite a few eagles. So I suppose it is a minor victory for him. But right now, Loiza just sticking with the barracks by looks thing. It's going to keep flooding those eagle warriors out and the elite eagle warrior upgrade looks like he's going to be able to afford that once he gets up to the imperial age and from there love chang is going to have a real tough situation on his hands still only two tcs no stone income at all he's almost out of gold in his main base which does mean he's going to be forced onto the gold on the left and right and we already saw what happened over there loiz is looking pretty good right now love chang though a very large army Approaching uh, Loiza's base. Can Loiza get the masses in time? Well, I don't know, but the Elite Eagle Warrior upgrade is going to be done, and that is going to turn things around massively. He's pretty walled up as well, so it's going to force anything Love Cheng has got right into this TC, close to the castle. And there's the Imperial upgrade for Loiza. The Elite Eagle Warrior straight away being researched. He's also going to be getting the rest of these as well. He also will want to be getting the Garland Wars, but. Of course, that Elite Eagle Warrior taking precedence right now. And once that is done, Lois is going to be able to push out straight away and probably clean up this army with little to no problems whatsoever. Problem for Love Cheng right now, he has got a lot of monks, but he has to micro these so intensively in order to get conversions. Loiza though, not even bothered, going to delete that wall at the front, delete the gate as well, and he's going to go in at the back. This is going to be unexpected, and I don't think Love Cheng is going to be expecting this at all. Loiza going to be moving in at the back. The Elite Eagle Warrior is done. And you could say goodbye to your Rams. Love Chang, if he's not careful, could lose a lot of monks right here. And of course, Loiza is going to go straight for them. Getting right into the back. Monk Massacre about to happen. And with the Elite Eagle Warrior upgrade, he's going to make pretty short work of Love Chang's um, eagles as well. So many monks right there. Just getting absolutely flattened. And you can see by the score alone. That Loiza clearly right now has this game in the bag. Love Cheng getting absolutely cleared up. And there's the GG from him as well. And there we have it. One all. Love Cheng taking the first game. Loiza taking the second. And of course now we're going to go to game number three. Which will be Love Cheng's home map. So don't go anywhere. Game three will be coming up in just a moment's time. I'll play a quick